What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender quick tip for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about a way where you can scale multiple objects around their individual origins inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So specifically in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about the pivot points that you can use to transform objects inside of Blender. For example, a lot of the time what you want to do is you're going to want for whatever reason to have multiple objects selected and you're going to want to scale them individually. But notice how right now when I do this, this is scaling based on a center point. Um, it's basically the bounding box center or the center of my selection. And so what that means is that means that I can't really scale these individually without coming in here and doing each one like this, which can obviously be very time consuming. It's not necessarily um, what we wanna spend our time doing. So, but let's say we wanted each one of these boxes to scale, but stay in place. So what we could do is there's an option at the top of the page, and this is in Blender 2.82, so it might look a little bit different depending on your version, but what we want to do is we want to set the transform pivot point. So notice how when I click on that, th this, there's multiple different options for different pivot points. We currently have the median point selected. And so what that means is that means it's finding the center or the median point of all of these objects, which is why they're scaling around the center of my selection. However, if you were to click on this, you're gonna notice there's another option in here for individual origins. And so what individual origins is gonna do is that's gonna scale each object around its own origin. And so notice that when I select these, there's this little gold dot, the little gold dot indicates the uh, the origin point for each one of these objects. So it's basically the uh, central point or the point around which um, all your transformations are gonna happen with an object. And for me, all of these are placed at the center of my boxes. Well now, since I had clicked on the transform pivot point, and set it to individual origins. Now if I use the scale tool, each one of these is gonna scale around its own individual origin. And so this can also be helpful if uh, you're using other functions as well. So let's say I was to duplicate these two boxes and let's say we wanted to go into edit mode. And remember that we can edit objects by selecting them, doing a shift click, and then hitting tab, you can see how I can take both of these into edit mode at one time. So you can see how if we were to select these objects and we were to inset these faces, by tapping the I key, we could put the inset tool in individual face mode, and we can inset these faces all at once. So you can see how I can inset multiple different faces. But the problem is, let's say that we wanted to inset this, and then we wanted to extrude this to move these inward. Well, if I do that right now, you can see how this is only gonna do this um, by locking these to an axis or something like that. So you can see how I can't um, extrude these inward by tapping the E key at the moment. However, if we were to go up and we were to select individual origins, again, and then tap the E key and move our mouse, you can see how we could actually use this to inset all of these different faces at once. So you can inset or outset these or extrude these in and out at once. So notice these are now extruding based on that individual origin for each object. So this can be a really fast way to add a bunch of detail into your model. So for example, you can see how I can use this to just continually inset these shapes using those individual origins. So this can be a really important thing to know when you're modeling because it can save you a ton of time inside of Blender. So kind of a quick video today, but um, I think you're gonna find this useful, especially as you start working with multiple different objects inside of Blender. This can save you a ton of time instead of doing all this individual editing on your objects. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought, um, if this was helpful to you. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.